strikes. Breaking overnight, escalating tensions in the Middle East, the U.S. carrying out new strikes in Yemen to protect cargo ships in the Red Sea. And Pakistan has now launched retaliatory strikes inside Iran. In Washington today, meanwhile, families of American hostages are making a new push for the release of their loved ones. Lots to get to with NBC's senior White House correspondent, Gabe Gutierrez. Gabe, good morning to you. Hey there, Savannah. Good morning. This is turning into a tense daily back and forth, drawing the U.S. deeper and deeper into this conflict. Defense officials say the U.S. targeted multiple sites inside Yemen. U.S. Navy ships launching Tomahawk missiles to take out Houthi weapons before they could target ships in the Red Sea. You'll remember the Iran-backed Houthi militants have attacked dozens of ships there since November, threatening global commerce and raising fears the unrest could raise prices around the world. This is the fourth time in a week the U.S. has conducted strikes like these, and the White House is warning more could be coming if the Houthis don't stop their attacks. Meanwhile, U.S. officials are watching yet another troubling sign of escalation in the wider region. Pakistan announcing overnight it carried out its own retaliatory strikes against what it calls terrorist hideouts in Iran. Iranian state TV says multiple civilians are dead. Several conflicts the White House is tracking this morning. Savannah. All right, Gabe, thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.